Well, it is our first race back for 2023 sprint car season. We got the car right out there. My dad is putting the engine heater on to kind of get the motor um, a little bit hotter before we head out for mud pack here in about, I think 30 minutes. We have pit meeting, then mud pack. And then I don't know if hot laps and qualifying is the same or if we get hot laps and then qualifying. Not too sure about that. I'm super excited. The nerves have not kicked in yet. I think I'm just gonna go out there, kind of do my thing, keep my head high, whether, you know, wherever I finish on the racetrack. Track was super dry when we first got here. I haven't looked at it um, since then, and so I kinda hope they put some water on it, and hopefully, you know, it's pretty racy and not just one lane around the bottom. One thing about Cottage Grove is when they do water it, the water kinda slowly just puddles up at the bottom of the racetrack, so it might just be, you know, hooked up right around the bottom. But hopefully that's not the case today. We want it very racy. I think we have about 15 to 20 cars right now for um, 360s. So there probably will be a B main tonight and we're gonna do everything we can to not be in that. So I'm gonna go get my suit on and get in the car for mud pack right now. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Over. Off exit, my nose is fine. Get a good start. Remember, you set the pace and just rip. Your car should be better now. I made some adjustments. Okay? You got this. Remember, you set the pace and run a good line. You just got to run kind of right through the middle. We're doing another gear change. Just got done with qualifying and uh, hot laps. They took like a really long break after um, mud pack. Just it was way too dry. Um, and then we did hot laps and it was still way too dry. So they went out there, tilled it up, water trucked. Um, and then we went out for hot laps again. 
really, really tight. Um, so we came in, made an adjustment right before qualifying, and uh, it was still really tight off um, exit. Like the front end was picking up, it was hard to get in. Um, so we, you know, made another adjustment, changed gears, and now we're changing gears again. So right after we made that uh, last adjustment there, we went out for the heat race starting first out of, I think, six or seven cars. Um, the first start, I just, I kind of, you know, made a mistake, but then there was a yellow right away. So we got, a, we did a full complete restart, and uh, that time I got a better start, but uh, fell right back into second. And then we just did all eight laps right there in second, and um, car was getting tight there at the end, so we're gonna make another gear adjustment. I think the track's also getting slicker, so we might just leave the car, and it might be good. I think we're rolling off from somewhere between 9th to 11th right now. So uh, let me go check the board, check the racetrack, and hopefully everything goes good. Well, our night is over. Um, just a recap of how everything went. Uh, I started 12th in the main, um, and right off the bat, I just went into a corner number one and absolutely just, you know, blew it off in the marbles because my car was just so tight. I couldn't really um, enter. It just, it was super tight on entry and it just pushed way up. And I think I went from like 12th to at least like 16th, maybe 17th. And then going into three, there was a big crash, big wreck. Um, so actually being tight, that first corner actually helped me avoid the wreck. Um, I think it took out like four to five cars even. So, um, 
we restarted 10th and uh, a much better start but still super tight and uh, until we got going the car was just um, tight but once we got going it was definitely um, it loosened the car up a little bit and then exit of four I think probably around lap 10 maybe 10 15 ish um, the motor actually popped out of gear once I hit the run it popped the car out of gear um, and that's never a good sign so I refired and I kept going and the motor just wasn't really sounding right to me it felt like I had no power at all and prior to um, the main we switched gears so tomorrow we're gonna look at it I cleaned the car and I washed everything um, but like I said the motor wasn't running right so I just pulled off I think either we put the wrong set of gears in um, we grabbed the right box and put whatever set was in the box you know in the car but we didn't check to make sure the sets matched matched up I guess I don't know so either there's something wrong with the motor or um, something in the gears but we're definitely gonna um, take it apart some like the valves and the injectors and just kind of clean everything maybe see if it can run a little bit better because we were definitely um, off speed for sure but that being said car is all clean and ready to go already greased already um, bolt checked so tomorrow like I said we just really got to clean the motor um, change gears back to what we did for qualifying and hopefully tomorrow goes a lot better and a lot more smoother since you know we already got one race behind us and thank you guys so much for watching I just want to thank all my sponsors RTR uh, diesel performance Earth environmental Ed Boyd racing rush race gear ABC powder coating um, D-Ray designs for keeping my car looking good and uh, see you guys on the next one peace <laughs>